It is time for the 2024-2025 regular season with your Buffalo Sabres. Last episode, we went through the draft. We got our first overall pick in Old Rich Kubalik. This kid is 18 years old, 83 overall, man, with some amazing X factors. Big rig, relentless, relentless, uh, big tipper, bouncer, close quarters. We we got a decent little team that can compete. Um, and I think we're going to try to make the playoffs this year. Listen, we went out, made some good signings in Nino Niederreiter. Uh, we signed, uh, I think Ross Colton was a couple years ago. We signed uh, Labushkin and Zub. And then goaltending, we were sticking with UPL. Scratch, we got Robertson and Quinn. And then looking at the AHL, we got Haltonen, who was our first overall pick last year. We got him ninth overall. Uh, Savoy, he who's going to be ready Maybe even this year if we really need him, depending how he does down here. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Buffalo Sabres do this season. We are not tanking. We are trying to win a cup or try to make the playoffs at least. So obviously I don't think this team is good enough to compete with other teams in the NHL and win a cup. But you just never know. So our first game is against the Toronto Maple Leafs at home. We are going to simulate the first game of the season to see how this Buffalo Sabres team does, all right? Eight-time simulation. Let's see how this team does against the Maple Leafs, the very strong Toronto Maple Leafs who did end up losing Nylander. Matthews opens up the scoring for the Leafs to begin the season. Uh, power play for the Leafs. We kill it off. Buffalo looks like they're going to go throughout the first period without a goal, but that is okay. Shots are 98 in favor of the Leafs. And Tage Thompson with his first of the season against Ilya Samsonov or Samsonov. 1-1 hockey game. Buffalo was in this game. Matt Dumba, newest Toronto Maple Leaf. Scoring makes it 2-1 power play. We can't do anything. Lars Eller scores. He's back with Toronto. It's a 3-1 hockey game in the second period. Oof. Okay. Toronto uh, out shooting us 25-15. Not an ideal period. We get our first of the year. Uh, in Tage Thompson, but other than that, nothing else going for the Leafs. Power play for Toronto. We kill it off. Power play for Buffalo. Nothing going. Connor Brown back with Toronto. It's a 4-1 to hockey game, and it looks like your Buffalo Sabres are going to lose the first game of the season. Aldrich Kubalik with his first National Hockey League goal in the power play. Robertson makes it a 5-2 to game, though, shortly after. And that is going to be the first game of the season. The Toronto Maple Leafs roll over the Buffalo Sabres. 5-2, to two, Old Rich, or Kubalik, getting himself a goal. Minus 2, not great. Tate Thompson getting a goal. Uh, Alright, so not the greatest. UPL with an 857. Not a great start to the season for the Buffalo Sabres, obviously. Let's send to the next game. And I just want to see how our power play lines look up and everything. But Kubalik, man, good start to the season. This line was a minus 2 throughout that game, though. So maybe something that we got to consider changing. Zub and Clegg. Ooh, a minus three. I don't want Owen Power up to an 88 now. Oh, my God. He was 86 to start the season. Played one game, and he's up to an 88. Um, all right. So, I kind of want to make some changes. I don't want to throw Owen Power there, but, man, that, that pairing there ain't great, dude. Oh, boy. Okay. Henry Okiharu doesn't really make anything better. All right. So, we need a, a third pair defenseman eventually. UPL. Is up to an 85 after one game, even though he's at an 857. So maybe our goaltending situation's okay. Um, power play lines. Got a plus one here. And we got a zero here. Okay, so Tage Thompson, uh, Kubalik, Middlestad, Darlene, and Power. Okay, I kind of want to switch up Darlene and Power. Let's keep Power up there. Uh, who is not getting played right now? Uh, Olofsson, is he on this line? No, but he might be on the second unit. No, he is. Yeah, he is on the second unit here. I want a defenseman here. So let's take off Olofsson or Niederreiter. We'll take off Olofsson and we will put in Rasmus Dahlin. Okay. And then over here, we will put in Mr. Where is he? Who did we just take out? Oh my God, my memory is shot, dude. Left wing. Uh, Victor Olofsson, all right? Ooh, okay. We got a plus one. Okay. Let me let me try to sort this out somehow here. All right, this is the best we could do it. I put Cousins here with Kubalik, Anita Ryder, and Tage Thompson and Darlene. The second unit is going to be Krebs, Engvall, Tuck, Yokiharu, and Owen Power. Okay, so let's see how that does. I don't know. Maybe our power play needs to be better. Uh, let's simulate 
the month. I think we're going to go up to the trade deadline in this video. And then from there, uh, we'll see what we can do with this team. All right. So first month, let's sim it up. We're 0-2 to start the season, which isn't great. Uh, do we want to view the draft class? I mean, we could be at the bottom, but we don't know much. This guy's a gem. He hasn't been scouted yet. Um, you know, our scouts are still looking, but this guy's a gem apparently. Okay, so let's keep it going here. Peyton Krebs is hurt until October 31st. So he's going to have to come out of the lineup. Pretty much everyone's going to go up a line here. Uh, and we got to call up a centerman, it looks like. Okay, so let's do that quickly. Uh, let's go to roster moves. Uh, maybe now is the time to bring up uh, Savoyhi here. Okay, so where is he? Savoyhi. Let's give him a shout here on the fourth line in the NHL. And NHL lines. Casey Middlestat's going to go up a line. Ross Colton's going to go up a line. And then Savoy, he is going to come in and play center on that fourth line, all right? Uh, so let's see how that does there. Power play. Who are we missing on the power play? Everything looks good, but we're a minus one here. So I'm not a fan of that. Let's put Casey Middlestat in for the time being because I don't think he's on that first unit. Looks good to me. Uh, let's go to edit lines here in Rochester. Uh, their first line center is gone. So we're going to just throw up Austerlin. We're going to throw up... Everyone plus one, and we'll throw in connect me there, okay? And then even strength power play. Uh, everything looks good here to me. All right. Yeah, okay. So, back to the lines. There's a duplicate. Uh, Who is duplicated? Pakar? Patrika, connect me. What's the issue here? Rooster Line, and I think, is on both units, if I'm not mistaken. No, who is it? Okay, now everything is sorted out there. We will continue the sim. The game looked like it was going to be glitched, but it isn't. We are 1-3-0, man. This is not a good start to the season. We thought we would be a little bit better. We are kind of bringing it back around. Peyton Krebs is back. Uh, we'll give him till the end of the month to come back. We don't want him to get re-injured. And just like that, we are 5-3-0 after the first month, which isn't bad. We're sitting in fourth, a point behind the Leafs. And two points behind the Lightning and Panthers. Tage Thompson, eight games played, seven goals, three assists, ten points. Looking good there. Uh, Savoy, he is up to an 80 overall. So maybe this kid is NHL ready. And maybe Ross Colton is going to be the guy that's off and out of this team. Um, because Casey Mills has up to an 84. Peyton Krebs is back and ready to go with the team. I kind of want to give Savoy he a little bit of a shout there. Um, anyone else go up? Kubalik went down in overall, but he's got eight games played and six points. He's a minus one on that first line. Um, maybe, like, do we want him on that third line? Not really. Like, everything looks good to me. Uh, do we want to bring in, um, Ross Colton and maybe put him on the wing? He shoots left, so we'd have to play on the left side. It would take out Angle. Right now, I kind of want to see how Savoy he does on that third line ever since we brought him in. Dude, he has three goals and five games played on the fourth line. Like, I'm going to keep him up here. You know what? I think now is his time. We are going to, unfortunately, uh, sit out uh, Ross Colton, who didn't really do much in eight games. was a minus three. Um, we'll keep him there. UPL, 911 save percentage. Elliot, 907 save percentage. So, not too bad from our goaltenders there. All right, so, we turned it around uh, at the start of the month. We were on, like, a three-game losing streak to start the month out, to, I, I want to say. Uh, one, two, okay, no, but... You know what? Five wins, three losses in the first month for this team isn't too bad. Still a young team. You gotta get, you guys gotta keep that in mind, all right? So let's go another month. Playing against the Bruins. It's a shootout win. A win against Detroit. A win against the Kraken. We are on a little bit of a winning streak. Labushkin is out until December 8th, so he's not out for that long. Uh, so Zub will go up one. Do we need to call up a defenseman? That's what it looked like, actually. I mean, Robertson can play. Depth defenseman. Let's throw in Robertson for the time being. Maybe put Clegg there we'll just keep minus five okay that might be a glitch though so we will see let's keep it going there's a loss there but we come back oh an 11 2 loss oh my god what was that that is horrible okay we're on a little bit of a losing streak we break the two game losing streak tage thompson is out till december 2nd so he's not out for too long so everyone's gonna go up a line savoy he's gonna get time on that third line and ross colton's gonna make his way back into the lineup no pluses on this team right now I do want to see defensively. This is a minus two line there, okay? Uh, we have an unfilled slot on the power play. Uh, obviously, that was Tage Thompson there. So, for the time being, who do we want to put there in that center slot? You know what? 
Savoyi, you know what? Let's give him time on that on this unit here. See what he can do. You know what? Screw it. Why not? All right. Uh, all right. Let's keep it going here. Tage Thompson's uh, ready to play. We'll give him till the end of the. Or we'll give him. We'll give him up. I don't know. That's the end of the month. Okay. So we are fourteen eight and zero. At the end of two months, we are sitting in second at the Atlantic. The Panthers are a point behind us. It's a tight division. Uh, Dylan Cousins, 25 points in 22 games. That's good to see. Quickly looking here, we went on a bit of a winning streak to start out the month of November. Uh, so let's see here. We were on a, let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight game winning streak. So that was very nice to see there, okay? So we got a couple injuries that are people that are back from injury, which is good. Uh, that will be Tage Thompson. Who isn't a hundred percent ready to go, but you know what? We're gonna throw him in. So let's throw everyone down a line here, and we will throw Tage Thompson back into the lineup. Good to see that. Uh, other than that, has anyone gone up and overall? Uh, Nita Ryder went down two. Kubalik is still at an eighty-two. Other than that, everyone's looking good defensively. Uh, everything's looking good there. Goaltending is what I meant to go look at here. UPL still at an eighty-five. Nine hundred two save percentage, eight ninety-two. So our goaltenders went down a little bit. Uh, let's look at the minors here. Halton is up to a 74. He started the year off at a 71. 17 games played, 4 goals, 4 assists. Uh, really quick, I want to look at Savoy. He 3 goals, 5 assists in 19 games. So he kind of tailed off a little bit there. But that's alright with me. Okay, so the team's looking good. We're sitting in a pretty good spot right now in the Atlantic Division. Okay, Labushkin should be coming back from injury around December 8th, which is nice. Uh, so we'll sim another month here and see how that goes, all right? Labushkin is ready to go. We'll give him up until the Boston game to bring him back. Uh, okay, I'm hitting stop sim. Rasmus Dahlin has now been hurt, and he is gone until January 22nd. So that is a huge loss for us. Uh, so Owen Power is going to get first line minutes. Clegg's going to move up there. Robertson's going to move there. Zub is going to move down. And then Ilya Labushkin will come into that spot there, okay? Now extra lines. What are we missing here? Extra attacker. Tage Thompson, and we'll do uh, Peyton Krebs, sure, and then Shootout, uh, let's throw Peyton Krebs in there as well, okay, so there we go, everything's looking good, alright, oh, Peyton Krebs was already there, who are we missing, literally anyone, Casey Middlestad, was he in there, no, he wasn't, okay, perfect, so everything's looking good there, kind of tough to see our top defenseman out for a while there, okay, so we'll go to the first of the month, he's out for well over a month, unfortunately. So that's not looking good for us. Jeremy Davis, head coach, replaces the lines. Uh, Halton in, who is injured until December 23rd, but not out for long, which is good, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, the HL dealing with some injuries. They got the injury bug down there. They just continue to get injured down there. Halton in is back, so let me make sure that he gets back into the lineup here. Uh, Bloom, 21, 22, 26. So really, Murray can get out of the lineup realistically and we'll bring back in Halton and where is he is he a left winger where is Halton did they put him in already he's he's not showing up there's no way he's up in the AHL or the NHL right now please tell me he's not no okay I don't know where he is the AHL will figure it out hopefully okay uh we'll continue we get a trade here they want to give us uh they want to give us cop we'd be getting rid of our second round pick uh, San Jose will be getting rid of the third. We're getting rid of Alexandriov, who I believe we drafted this year. Fourth round. Other forward. Um, coach satisfaction, very high. Okay. Uh, Andrew Kopp, who's got three years at 5.6. I don't know if it's a contract I'm willing to give up. He fits the bottom six, which we kind of do need. But I, I kind of want to see what Alexandriov has to offer. His trade value is up there and I feel like we can get someone better than Andrew Kopp in a third, all right? So I'm gonna say no to that, Detroit. Uh, multiple players, so we'll do that. Uh, and continue the sim, 5-1 loss there. Um, people are interested in Alexandriov, we're not interested in giving him up right now, all right? So that's something we will have to look at the trade deadline, all right? So after three months, your Buffalo Sabres are 23-11-2, and, and if I saw correctly, we are in first at the Atlantic Division and we are in third in the entire NHL. Um, that is actually crazy to see. The Buffalo Sabres are a legit team and they are proving it this year, uh, which is amazing. Now, looking at our team here, has anyone went up or down overalls? Not that I see. Savoy, he, four goals, 11 assists. He's doing pretty good on that fourth line, which you love to see. Tage Thompson, 
30 points in 34 games. Uh, Cousins is doing well. And Kubalik, uh, 29 points in 36 games, plus 6 is things you love to see. Defensively, we're looking okay. Goaltending-wise, UPL with a 905, that needs to be a little bit better, uh, to be honest with you guys, all right? Looking down at Halton in here, who is not in the lineup for some reason, dude. Is he a scrap? Like, where is he? Is he still hurt? Alexandriov, I want into the lineup. All right, so let's throw in Alexandriov. Like, he's scratched. We shouldn't have probably signed him. We should have just let him play it out, but he's going to play in that fourth line. I don't know where Halton in is. I, I, I don't know where he is. He's not in the NHL. I can tell you that much. I, I'm not sure where he is right now. So... Um, that's interesting, uh, to say the least. I, I, I don't know where he is. Anyways, um, the Sabres are looking good. They are looking like a legit team right now. They are playing very, very well. And I think we constructed this team pretty well draft pick wise and free agency wise. All right. So let's sim it another, what, two months. And then we will call it a video. And next episode will be the huge trade deadline that this team is going to need. Like, what are we going to do? All right. Like, what, what exactly are we going to be bringing in at the trade deadline? We already know we need a third and second pair defenseman, right-handed shot, uh, which is hard to come uh, around, all right? So Rasmus Asplund has been injured with a sore knee, and he is out until the 21st of January. I believe that is not too long. So we'll throw Pierre Engvall up onto that line there. Who is scratched right now? We'll bring in Ross Colton, and that looks good to me, all right? So lines are set there. Matthew Robertson has been injured, so I believe we're going to need to call up a defenseman now because that is a defenseman that we brought in for our injured Rasmus Dahlin, all right? So we got to go to the minors. Who's the defenseman that we are bringing up? That is the question. I'm not too sure, to be honest. So let's go into the system. It's going to be Bryson, it's looking like. We have no right-handed shots, which is kind of uh, hard. He's a... Ooh, one way. Hopefully no one claims him. All right, we are good. All right, so... Edit NHL lines, and he is going to fill into that slot there. Uh, we will bring in... Oh, we needed a left-handed shot. Okay, that's good. So Bryson's going to come into that pairing there, and that's the best we can do right now. Okay, so that's that. Back to edit lines here. Haltonen is playing defense. What is what is happening? What is ha He's up to a 77 after he's, he got brought up there, but he is not supposed to be there, man. Why is he a defenseman? What is wrong with this game? What is wrong with this game? Oh my god. I, I can't believe what I'm witnessing right now. EA. Um, yeah, I, I don't think he's a defenseman to say the least, guys. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Samuelson will go in here. And we need another defenseman. Is it because there's no more defensemen that we have signed up here? No, we do. Like, what? what is happening here? Alright, I don't know. That, that, my god, EA. Your game is something else sometimes, man, all right? And we will throw in, obviously, our guy Halton in. Now he's saying he's scratched. Like, what? This game is so broken, man. Oh, my God. Anyways. Look, now he's not here. What is happening? EA. Your game needs to be fixed desperately, guys. Desperately, desperately, desperately. Holy. That is, that is absolutely horrible. Anyways. Too many dress skaters, it's saying now. Like, what is happening here? We did head coach preferred lines. Is Halton enough? Okay. My God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's. My, my brain is fried after dealing with what we just dealt with. Okay. Matthew Robertson is available to play. We'll continue as we have a bye week. Uh, we'll do continue there. I think our game's... All right. So Owen Power is now injured. So our top two defensemen are now out, which is just not ideal, obviously. And we're going to have to call up a defenseman as well because I believe there is no one here. No, we got Robertson up here. Okay, so Robertson's going to come in. He's coming off of injury. Uh, we'll put him there. And our top two defensemen are now out for the year. Our game was glitched, so we are 25-15-2, so we're still doing pretty well, even though our top two defensemen are out. Uh, we did go on a four-game losing streak there, which was not ideal. Okay, so let's continue simming here. Clegg is now injured as well. So the Buffalo Sabres are going through an injury bug. We need to call up a defenseman. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres have no luck with injuries right now in the month of January, unfortunately. Okay, so in the system, we need to call up a defenseman. Samuelson will be that guy. No one claimed him, thankfully. And he's going to be the guy that needs to come in uh, to help out. So Bryson's going there. 
And then, oh, Darlene looks like he's back. Is he is he ready to go, though? That is a question. He's still injured, but you know what? We're so depleted that we need to bring him in, all right? Let's hope he doesn't get hurt. Back to edit lines here. Throw everyone up. We might have to call down. Okay, no, we have someone down here. Davies, okay, cool. So everything's good. Hopefully, Darlene is okay to go. Hit continue. And Henry Okiharu is now hurt, and he is out until April 26th. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about an injury bug. Talk about an injury bug, man. This is not looking good for your Buffalo Sabres right now. So many injuries happening. Multiple players are now uh, available to be dressed. And who is available to be dressed? Please, one of them be Owen Power. Okay, Asplin and, and Quinn, maybe. So we can bring in Asplin, which is good. But it's not like we were missing too much. We, we had Ross Colton there. Uh, Asplin is going to be coming back, playing that left wing on that third line. Good to see him back with the team. And we continue simming here. Press OK. Oh, when Power is ready to go, my game is glitched again, man. Like, EA's really got to fix their game. We'll bring in Owen Power for this Montreal Canadian game. All right. Peyton Krebs is now hurt with a concussion. He's out until March 23rd, okay? You can't write this. You, 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 you can't make this stuff up right now, boys. This is actually unreal. So, Ross Colton coming back into the lineup there. And while we're here, we might as well bring in... Um, I want to get rid of Samuelson. Uh, we will bring in Owen Power, who is healthy and ready to go, okay? So our top two defensemen are back, which is good. Uh, Haltonen has been hurt again. And Clegg is ready to go. We'll hit continue there. Uh, and, you know, we'll give Clegg the rest of the, the, the week off as we just don't want to risk any injury right now, okay? And Owen Power is injured once again. All right, lovely, lovely. Okay, so... Um, Owen Powers hurt again. That's awesome, dude. That, uh, we really did need that right now, alright? So we'll bring in Clegg. I guess he's ready to go as well. Uh, we'll play him on the left side. I don't think he's actually, I don't think that line's actually a minus five. Uh, who's scratched and ready to go? Just Jack Quinn and Samuelson. Okay, so. The injury bug has really, really hit the Buffalo Sabres this episode, guys. It's not great. It is not great. It sucks. All right, Halton and back into the lineup after being hurt for the second time this year. We got a trade offer again. The Saber. Or, this is the worst, worst trade. They were giving us a third before. Now they're giving us a fifth. Get out of here, Detroit. What are you thinking? Uh, Halton and hurt again. All right, awesome, dude. And that is it. After four months, we are twenty-eight, seventeen, and three. We definitely fell off that month. Uh, we're still sitting in third in the Atlantic. The Senators, a point behind us. The Lightning, uh, two points behind us. Um, yeah, we definitely fallen off with all those injuries, man. The team just hit the injury bug hard, man. It, it, it's hard to see. Kubelik, 20 goal season in his rookie year. He's got 32 points in 48 games. Tage Thompson hasn't done much that month. Are you kidding me? He had 30 points uh, after three months. It's been four months and a month went by and he hadn't gotten a point. Is that is that right? Okay. Uh, Savoy, how's he doing? Doing okay there. Asplin, talk everyone doing good defensively. It is what it is for now. Goaltending wise, 912, that went up in a 909, so that's good to see. Um, other than that, that's really it that we have to look at, all right? We're going to go another month until the trade deadline, and then we will talk about some moves that we can make. Uh, and hopefully, you guys can help me out in the comment section down below, all right? So, we got a week off here. Uh, we lose a shoot in a shootout. We're going to give Owen Power literally uh until the florida game all right so we're gonna bring in owen power um dude i just hope he doesn't get injured once again like he, he's one of our top defensemen that we want to keep healthy obviously right so uh who is going to sit out it looks like it's going to be bryson obviously that'll go like that and then owen power will come in like that there uh looking down here halton in says he is ready to go so we're going to bring back in halton in who's up to a 79 now. Uh, so he's going to be NHL ready very, very soon, probably next year. Kubelik's up to an 84. That's things you'll love to see. Okay, so good things to see, all right? We're seeing some good things here, all right? We have no one on this team that's a point-per-game per player right now, but we're winning games still, which is good, all right? We're about to hit a 31 season, which would be nice to see, and we get that against 
the Flames, and now Kubalik has an injured shoulder, and he's out until February 24th, all right? So he was finally finding his game, and uh, he is out now, all right? So who was scratched here? Is it just Jack Quinn that is scratched? All right, so Jack Quinn's coming into the lineup onto that fourth line. Uh, could Alex Tuck maybe make anything a difference there? No? All right, so that's what the team is going to be rolling with for now. And Kubalik is ready to go for the... St oh, my God, the game's glitched again. Okay. This game is something else, man. We'll give it one more game, and then we'll throw in Kubalik, all right? 4-2 loss. So we're losing games now, man, which isn't good. We moved down to fourth, so we're in a wild card spot right now, tied with the Sens, I believe, is what I just saw. Uh, so everyone's going to move down a line, and Kubalik coming back into the lineup after injury. Looks good to me, okay? So... Let's continue with the sim here and see if Kubali can uh, put us back onto our winning ways. Two games left in this month, a win against the Preds and a loss against the Devils, which we shouldn't have lost that game. They were doing horrible. So we are 32, 23 and four after five months. We are sitting in fourth in the Atlantic, a point behind the Lightning, but the Senators are tied with us, all right? And the Bruins are seven points behind us as well. So it's a tight race. Uh, for your Buffalo Sabres. Now, quickly looking at these lines before the trade deadline so you guys can kind of help me make some moves. This is what the team is looking like. I believe no one is injured. Um, okay, so we are missing Peyton Krebs. Uh, so other than that, um, Ross Colton would leave. Metal Stat and Savoy, he would move down a line and Krebs would go here. So realistically, we could probably use a fourth liner. Uh, so maybe some, some depth pieces of forwards for our playoff run. Defensively, man, 100% we are going to need uh, a better right-hand shot for the second unit and for the third pair, right? Because uh, who is injured right now defensively? Yoki Haru. So obviously Yoki Haru would move up here. Labushkin would move down to Zub would move down. So Labushkin could be a third-line defenseman. No doubt in my mind he could be. Um, I do think... Uh, I do think it would be better to put a better second liner with Owen Power, a second pairing. So I think that's what we're going to need to make a move there. UPL, 909, 913. I mean, I'm okay with running these two for the time being. I, I don't have any uh, problems with that. Haltonen, could we bring him up this year possibly to replace Craig Smith? I'm not too sure if he's ready for the NHL just yet, though. Goaltending, how's Prostev doing? 25, 9, 19, so he's not bad. So realistically, looking at the trade deadline for your Sabres, we're going to look for some depth pieces of forwards and defensively a second pairing and maybe a depth defenseman, all right? If you guys have any ideas of what to do, let me know in the comment section down below. But that is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we hit the trade deadline and we will finish off the season. We will see you very, very soon.